to my channel. This is Angel from According to Angel over on Instagram. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are a returning friend, thank you so much for your continued love and your continued support. In this video, I am going to be sharing with you guys a couple of hauls from a few different places. Um, a lot of these items do not pertain to planning, but I wanted to share it with you anyways because uh, this haul is a pink girly haul and I do love the color pink, I'm pretty sure. Most of you that have been following me for a while know that and I am like super duper girly. So without further ado, I'm going to go on to get started. The first thing that I want to share are these little washi containers that I purchased on <clears throat> Amazon. They came in a pack of four for uh, $14.99. And as you guys can see, I already put some washi tape in here to kind of show you guys what they would look like with the washi tape in them and how they would look stacked. Yeah, these are some little mini stacking organizers. And yes, uh, the reason that I purchased these is because they were uh, small, cute, and of course pink. So, stack them like that and they can sit nicely on your desk, dresser, or whatever you use to sit your washing on, kind of like that, or however you want to do it. But yeah, I thought these were like super duper cute. So now I'm going to show y'all what they look like on the inside. You just open them like this, and then stick your washies in them. They have a clear viewing, uh, plastic viewing parts. And um, in this container, I put some of my favorite grid washies and um, they're easily accessible. So yeah. And here I put some of my favorite uh, champagne washies from the washi tape shop. And in here, I put all of my black and white washies that I reach for the most. So, and of course, I needed one to have just some pink washies that I use regularly. So, that's that. In a future video, I'm going to share with you all um, all of my different washi storages, um, organizational storages, because I have um, I think four or five different ways that I have my washi tape stored and I'd like to uh, share with you guys all the things that I use to keep my washi cute, neat, and organized. So moving on. Oh, and um, these can be found on Amazon. They come in up. You can get them three ways. Uh, one pack. I want to say they're like three dollars and something for one you can get a pack of two for nine dollars and 99 cent i chose to get the four pack and the four pack is 14.99 i'll leave a link for that down in the description box below um they come in of course it's pink color there is a green color and i might be wrong but i want to say there is like a blue or a black color I'm not sure, but it was one or the other. Okay, so moving on. As some of you guys know, I have gone back to my preschool classroom at the exact same school with the exact same class. And um, it's been really, really, really nice. But, um, like while my kids are napping sometimes and I am 
uh, getting some paperwork done, grading papers, getting photos together, decorating, or just whatever the case may be. Sometimes I like to watch a movie and I have a portable DVD player that I was using here and it was kind of icky now because some one year old has been playing with it on the floor. But I was not okay with the color. So as I was browsing online for a new portable DVD player, I ran across this on Amazon. This is a nine inch portable DVD player with a swivel screen. And um, it also has a five hour battery life. That's going to be great. So, forgive the after noise. That is one of my neighbors who is working on a car that has been not working for a long time. So, forgive the background noise. Anyway, so let's open this baby up and take a peek. Taking her out of the packaging and she is nice and pink. Now, I got this on Amazon for, let's see, it was $69.99. That's a pretty good price for me. But um, in the pictures, the pink was a lot darker, which I wasn't too crazy about. I don't like, like the dark tone pink colors. I'm more of a light baby pink, blush pink type girl. But um, anyway, so it opens like this and then it has a swivel head, which means that when you lay it out like this, you're able to rotate it. And I think that's really cool. It'll also rotate like while you're, while it's up, so. Yeah, I think that's really, really, really cool. And the right color pink. I think I'm going to really enjoy this. Okay. All right. The next thing on my Oh, uh, I forgot to mention, it does come with a charger. So the charger would be here in this little part. The next thing on my haul is this super cute Apple Watch case. I found this on a site called Pinnacle Luxuries, and it was $75.95. I got this because um, I want my Apple Watch to look like super duper luxurious. You know, I'm one of those type girls, you know, just being honest. So let's take it out of the packaging. I'll just rip it, whatever. Okay, it's packaged real nicely here. So, let's see. Oh, that feels amazing. Take a look at that. It's going to look very good on my Apple Watch 6. So I'm gonna stick that back in a little black part and put it off to the side. Um, which will bring me to my next thing. I was browsing the line for some really, really, really cute uh, Apple Watch bands. Like all of my bands are cute, of course. The one that I have currently on my watch, is a pink Louis Vuitton band that I purchased uh, via Etsy. If I can find that shop, I'll link it 
along with the other products that I've mentioned so far in a description box below. But this Coach uh, Flower Band I found online at uh, at Reed's uh, Reed Jewelry Store and it was absolutely amazing. It kind of like just screamed at me, buy me, buy me, buy me. So of course, with me being who I am, I had to have this. And I mean, she is so cute. And I think it's going to look very good with that case. This band, uh, I purchased for $125. Okay. So the next thing on my little list are some uh, book rings. I am in the process of fixing my sticker books a little bit better than what they are uh, now. Well, some of them, some sticker books are um, organized well, whereas some others are not. And I kind of want to jazz up my sticker stash. So I got these. These are one inch book rings that I purchased on Amazon that I'm going to basically use to hold my sticker books together. I've already put some on a couple, kind of like this. I think that's really cute. And then um, this pack of 50, there are 50 rings in this box. I got on Amazon again, and I think they were like $11.99. I will leave that for sure price in the description box below. And then the next thing that I wanna share is this smart keyboard. Of course, it's pink. Uh, I got this off of Amazon and it was $13,998. So the reason that I purchased this is because I want a keyboard case on my 11 inch iPad Pro, but I did not want the Magic Keyboard because uh, they don't come in colors that I like. I'm already, you know, having to deal with having an iPad in a color that I'm not too crazy about which is the uh, Space Gray, because that is the only color that they had in stock when I went to the Apple Store and purchased my iPad Pro. So I figured, what was the use in paying, just say $300, because the uh, Apple Smart Keyboard is $299, if I wasn't going to be happy with the color. So I looked online for an alternate, and at first, this is my iPad, by the way. At first, I found this little cute cover. I got this off of Amazon, too. But the thing is, the keyboard is cute. But um, at the same time, it does not function for me the way that I would like for it to. I figured maybe having the trackpad built into the keyboard would be best for me because with this one, it came with a little mouse. Okay, and I've charged the mouse and the, uh, and the keyboard. Here's the mouse that it came with. I've charged them both, but for some reason, um, you know how on a regular computer, you have to plug in this little part of the uh, mouse in order for the mouse to work. There's no where on this key, uh, keyboard for me to plug that little piece right there in. So it was driving me insane. It's like I have this really cute um, keyboard and nowhere to plug the, uh, 
mouse contraption. So that's where this came in. So let's take a look at it. It feels pretty heavy. All right. All right, and as you guys can see, it's pink. It is like a smooth, velvety kind of texture, which I am loving already. All right. Ooh, look at that keyboard. That is so cute. All right, let me turn this around so that I can kind of play with it. This is also magnetic, so the case is magnetic, so the keyboard snaps, like, right into place, which is cool. Um, that's an A with me, again, considering the one that I purchased prior. This keyboard is not magnetic. I use a magnetic uh, tape to kind of hold this keyboard in place and it works but at the same time it's a bomber because i would rather for it to snap magnetically on its own so the only downfall of this keyboard that i read in the uh, reviews is when you close the ipad it does not turn the iPad off automatically. So, um, other than that, this uh, uh, keyboard case has awesome reviews. Again, it was like $39.99 on Amazon. And yes, it has the pencil holder right there. Um, it holds the Apple Pencil 2 wall. Um, from looking at some reviews, I decided it really does not hold the first generation Apple Pencil. So if you have a first generation Apple Pencil, this holder won't work for that. But if you have a generation two, this is going to work like a charm. All right. And it also came with these. So the contraptions which will go on the back they will like snap in here where the cameras are where it'll look pink too isn't that cool okay so let me move some of this out of the way the next thing that i want to share is this iPad sleep. This baby is so cute. All right, it comes with a double pocket. So when you open it here, all right, I'm going to stick my iPad in here. I've already tried it with the cover that is currently on my iPad and it fit perfectly. So I'm gonna do it again here. All right, just slide it in here like that and this is how that looks then i can also stick in a, a planner a mini planner or a notebook a book or whatever the case may be and in the smaller pocket i can put like my cell phone some pens here maybe my little credit card wallet. I think it's really, really, really cute. I'm going to have my name put on here. Um, Y'all leave in the comments where do y'all think that I should get my name here or here. And it does come with a little strap. So, It'll almost be like a little crossbody, or you can just carry it like that with this little scrap. So, that is that. And the next thing on my haul list is this baby. This is a crystallized fan, right? 
let's open it. Here is the little USB charger. And this is the crystallized fan, right? And by fan, I mean an actual portable fan. So when you pull the top up, the fan comes out. Isn't that adorable? And then here on the side, there's a little button where you turn it on. This is like low. If you press it again, it's medium. And again, it's hot. And you can like sit this on your desk, your table, uh, take it with you to the park, the gym, or wherever the case may be. And um, just standing here right now with it on high power, it feels amazing. And I got this basically to look cute on my work desk. So I'm a preschool teacher. I definitely like for my work areas to look amazingly cute. So yeah. And if you press this button again, it turns it off. Store it away. You just press the button down like that. You can throw this in your purse, your bag, or whatever the case may be. And on the bottom here is where you plug in the USB to charge it. This you can find on Amazon for $14.99. Okay, so let's move that off to the side. Then, oh my gosh, on Zazzle. Zazzle.com, I will leave the link in the description box below. Go, I was looking for a beautiful pink mouse pad like I Last night, Louis Vuitton one, but it's like a fuchsia type pink and, you know, that dark, heavy pink that I'm not too crazy about. And I ran across Zazzle, and there you can customize your items, not just your mouse pads. They have other items on their site and make it basically your own, which is what I did with my mouse pad. I chose... A picture of me that I love so much and I had my name written here on the bottom in a font that I absolutely love and then I put my um, Instagram handle which is at according to angel and my YouTube handle which is planted with angel onto uh, this I guess to uh, first of all look cute on my desk then second of all, to give me motivation to keep doing what I love. Keep putting those videos out there um, to keep giving myself time to grow and not compare my channel with other people's channels because not everyone grows the same way and at the same time. So, yeah, this baby is so adorable. It was like... Uh, $32.99 or $33.99, something like that. But yeah, I'll leave the price and the website in the description box below. Then also from Zazzle, I got this baby and oh my gosh, it is packaged so beautifully. This is a paperweight and I got mine in the exact uh, same shade pink as the uh, mouse pad with the exact same picture and the exact same information. I love the way that this is packaged. Oh my gosh, look at that. And if you guys don't know what a paperweight is, this is a little contraption that you would use on your desk to kind of like hold pages down that you don't want move while you're doing something while you're creating videos drawing or just whatever the case may be if you don't want your papers to move you put the paper weight down it's going to hold your weight your pa your pages into place um this is also like 32 or 33.99 zazzle.com again look at how beautiful she is um she can sit up on a desk like that. Um, 
She has mirrored sides. And I mean, this is just beautiful. So yeah, I wanted to share that with y'all. Then I also wanted to share this new trash can that I got for work. Um, I'm not really sure how this one works yet. I already put the battery in, but it's a touch centered one. So when I press this button to turn it on, I think it's on, but when I censor it or what have you, it's not opening on its own. So I have to figure that part out. So maybe I did something wrong with putting this together. You see that? See how it opened up when I took the lid off? It's supposed to open up with the lid on. So, but anyways, this was $29.99 on Amazon support. Amazon is one of my favorite places to shop. And then, of course, I have to have the pink trash bags to go into the pink trash can. They were $18.49 on Amazon. Okay. Moving on, I also went to Bath and Body Works today. The goal was to purchase a new champagne toast candle. I absolutely love champagne toast. Um, the candles, oh my gosh, they are amazing. So this is what I initially went for. And yes, I know that it's kind of dirty and scratched up, but this is the only one they had left and a candle is great. So, again, this is Beth Mighty Works, and these candles are $29.95. I also picked up one of the One Wick Champagne Toast Candles, because these are on sale for $5.99, and your girl could not pass that up. Then, Beth and Body has a Buy Flurry Get 3 sale going on. I needed some new champagne toast, diamond shimmer, mist, this stuff. Oh my gosh, I love the glitter in this. It makes my skin look fabulous. So I had that and some more champagne toast lotion. And then I picked up a new, um, a new fragrance called Pure Wonder. That pink is amazing. And this smells, I'm talking about beautiful. If you like like a florally type scent, this is amazing. So I got those. And then I got this uh, Yin Cam uh, Exfoliating Sugar Scrub. Uh, I got to try this out before I bought it. And when I tell you, it made my hands feel like a baby's bottom type snoop. I mean that. That is my honest to God review on this. It's awesome. Um, these were also buy very get three free. And um, the champagne toast uh, shea butter cleansing bar. So of course, here you guys only see five items. My baby sister and I went together. I got just what I wanted. She got what she wanted. And yeah, that's that. And I also got this hand up set that I want to take to my school so that I can use this soap when I need to wash my hands. And this hand cream. And I'm going to stick the hands up into this hand soap dispenser in um, the teacher workroom and the preschool building. In the preschool building, there are two classes, a three-year-old class uh, and a four and five-year-old class. I am the four and five-year-old teacher. And um, the other teacher and I, we have a workroom together. So I'm going to put this in that workroom for my usage. <laughs> anyway, this was $14.95. This one was also $14.95. And again, those were from Bath and Body Works. So, guys, 
that concludes my haul today on Friday night or Saturday morning. I'm not really sure which one I'll let y'all know uh, a little bit later uh, next week. I'm going to do another haul video. It'll be another pink girly type video. Um, but yeah, this is it. If you guys like this video, give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in my next video.